Good day and welcome to a new video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Hey and welcome to Weekly Tips. We'll find some sense in your tip jar. Welcome today. Today you're joined by me, Daniel, and we're drawing a bunch of roses. So let's delve on into this and draw these roses. So for this, I thought I'd do like a 90 minute art challenge. So, you know, I was looking around for a 90 minute art challenge and found this image and I thought, well, why not do roses? Roses are fun, they're interesting. I haven't done them in a while. Um, and, you know, it's one of the first drawings I kind of um, did as a small young boy um, in art school, or well, art class at school. Um, and it's it can be complex, you know. They look very complex with all their like leaves and and things going on, um, and also you know there's three roses here, so it's a, it's quite a little bit more complex. But you know there are a lot of tutorials and things like that on how to draw roses. They can really help you out, um, and that you know you can break it down to the forms, break it down to a simple shape, um, and that's what you see. You know, as I start out this drawing, you can see me doing those simple shapes to begin with. They're just those three circles just to indicate where those roses are, uh, where the kind of center point is of the rose. Um, those big um, shapes that really help me out with the design. You can see that I've kind of done that at the beginning. If you, if you want to zoom back to the beginning of me setting up this this mighty mount art challenge drawing um you can see me set that up and it's quite interesting how much i actually did within 90 minutes you know um obviously this is sped up <laughs> quite dramatically it's only a 10 minute ish video uh, but yeah it's sped up quite dramatically you know it's 90 minutes put into 10 minutes basically um i thought you know i'd have some colors in there but decided just to just to focus in and try and get this drawing um, as accurate as I can. Really, I didn't worry too much about painting it fully. Um, I just worried about trying to get a very accurate drawing, and I think that's important rather than adding color or any other aspect. It's just try and get that drawing right. I go into tones a little bit to try and help me out because it does get a little confusing about where some of um, the petals are um, but you know there are simpler ways around it <laughs> I don't think I, I chose the most simplest way to do it um, but you know I worked my way through it as I do um, you know this was a bit of fun like I said uh, this uh, video um, isn't a how to draw it's not follow along uh, but I do, I'm just showing the way I do paint um, or draw something, the way I approach it um, to help you out. Um, it may help you out. You may do it completely different from me as well. It's completely fine. Um, you know, just some techniques to begin with there. I, I kind of get the general overall shape of everything. Um, and then I slowly break it down to details and try to get every everything a little bit better as I keep moving forward. Um, the easy part is drawing that book <laughs> and getting that right. Um, however, that can be challenging for um, some people getting those lines right and everything like that. Um, but for me, it, it, it was really kind of simple, easy background kind of a thing element going on getting those proportions right, getting in the right place. Um, but, you know, once that's down, the rest is kind of um, way more challenging, basically. But, you know, um, once you got the overall gist of the shape and where everything lies, it's just fixing it up and trying to get, you know, everything in the right place. Um, so from here, I'm kind of doing, you know, I've kind of got my general drawing done um, and now I am deciding to edit it with the use 
use of tone um, as well. Um, you know, I've got the gist of the drawing pretty much there. You know, um, there I go in and try to fix it up with tones as well, adding those up. Um, to make it a little bit more readable um, and this you know maybe I should have kept on just adding in those lines and then done the tones um, but however that's the way I went about it and you know it's you know I don't make the best decisions within 90 minutes because I've only got 90 minutes to paint it um, so don't always you know you don't always make the best decisions sometimes with those 90 minutes um, because you're on a time limit uh, and you just want to keep moving forward keep you know trying to get towards you know a good drawing good painting whatever you're doing within that 90 minutes or trying to achieve within that 90 minutes um, so sometimes <laughs> you don't always go against the best kind of direction <laughs> um, but however, you know, with each challenge you do, with each kind of drawing of roses that you do, with each, you know, um, piece and each thing you create, um, you learn and um, you make mistakes and you learn from them. Here, I don't think I've done too badly. Um, I didn't go too far into tone, as you see when I start off adding tone, that then now I go a bit further into adding the highlights and the, the dark tones um, trying to make a bit more sense out of it all where things lie I really think I could have spent a good couple more hours trying to get this piece you know this drawing um, looking a bit more accurate it would have turned out more like a painting in the end um, but I really could I th I thought I could spend quite a few hours on this just trying to get this accurate you know um, but that 90 minutes was really helpful it does you know get um, the overall gist of it it gets the information you need from the painting the drawing that you're doing the, the bunch of roses that you're drawing it gets all the information out um, that again if I was to draw this again or paint this again um, or if I had roses in another painting another drawing that it can really help out and that's another reason why I chose these roses I was like okay you know um, I do have a painting that I was working on at the time just kind of finished it at the moment but it had some flowers and I thought well you know take a step back draw some flowers that way you know I can use um, that material me painting these flowers I can use it um, as a way for those those um, flowers in that painting to, to become better at some point you know um, yeah you know taking a step back to, to really help you out doing a study doing that um, extra bit of study to help what you're working on um, you know if you are getting into painting roses and there are roses in your work and flowers and um, books and you know these things doing these challenges and doing just random drawings like this does help in the end um, as well as you know this is a bunch of roses together um, which you know starting out just drawing roses can be very confusing and challenging but if you draw one rose first maybe draw two roses next and then draw three roses here um, it would it'll be easier than starting off right off the bat drawing three roses I do have some experience drawing flowers and roses and that kind of thing um, so I did have some background there to delve into this drawing um, I have drawn something similar to this where I had like three roses on each other 
it wasn't exactly successful but you know I do there is some background there um, I'm not just delving in this not knowing anything about roses not knowing anything about drawing um, you know I do have some background there so you know just having a little bit of um, background in it you know a bit of knowledge in drawing roses um, it makes it way easier to draw a scene like this um, rather than just drawing run one rose that makes it one easier um, so yeah hopefully you've learned something from this video this is a little bit different you know I'm presenting you kind of a 90 minute art challenge um, for these weekly tip videos just because it, it was easier for me to make than you know just doing my my random normal weekly tips where I, I draw a couple of poses or something of an animal um, and th that kind of thing so it's a little bit different from what I'm used to uh, but I do like doing that I do like changing up these videos I do like um, talking about different topics presenting you a 90 minute art challenge something different for weekly tips um, it's an image I found online you know um, it's free to use, you know, a free to use image. It's got no copyright or anything to it. Um, so it's even better. But yeah, you know, I just um, doing something a little bit different is always helpful. And that's another thing you might also, you might not be into drawing roses, never drawn roses before, or anything like that. So just delving into something different like this um, might help you out in the end for getting better drawing um, and creating things so let me know your thoughts down in the description um, keep drawing everyone keep creating and see you in the next video